Hey, what's up, guys? David Glenn with the mixacademy.com. I hope you're doing amazing. Uh, some pretty exciting stuff coming out. This is NAM time, NAM season 2018. And uh, I figured what better time to get back into doing videos than uh, when all the new shiny new plugins and gear start coming out. So uh, today I was out with the family. My man Joey Fernandez, give a shout out. He hit me with a text as he often does when he sees something he's impressed by. And uh, he showed me the Andrew Sheps Omni Channel from Waves. And uh, I watched the video. Uh, we were in the mountains and got to a little place where I uh, actually had some cell service. And uh, I hit play and I was like, all right, I kind of dig this. And anything with saturation. I'm a sucker for. I love saturation, distortion. I love mangling things, getting dirty and grimy with stuff. And uh, so this one was featured a, a nice saturation, a preamp section, uh, some pretty aggressive compressors. I thought, man, let me go for this. So uh, I've got a session I'm mixing right now in the Mix Academy. Just turned over the videos, put them up on the website. Uh, go check it out. If you want to mix this or any song that we have up there, put it on your resume. Uh, we've got a $1 trial, all kinds of stuff going on in there. And I uh, would love for you to check it out. But Taking a look, I've got a pair of overheads here that uh, I figured what better way than I, I chose to saturate these overheads in the uh, in the mix as of late. And uh, the Decapitator plugin, something I go to day in, day out. It's a, it's a go-to for me. Uh, I figured, shoot, let me put it up against the Sheps and uh, see how the preamp section and all that stuff works. I'll do my best to, to level match. I have not messed with this, but for like five seconds before going live, uh, I hit the saturation, backed off the output, and was like, all right, I, I could show this one off. So uh, you will not find me doing gear or plug-in reviews, so to speak. It's more so me putting them through their paces for myself just to see how they sound, how they work, and then you guys will be the judge. I'm never going to push a plug-in on you. I'm not endorsed. I'm not sponsored by any plugins. I'm not over at the Pro Audio Files either um, endorsing plugins or anything. I just use what I like. This one's got some saturation. We're going to see what it does. So here is uh, the overheads as they came to me. No plug-in processing, and I've bypassed. I've got a pair of room mics down here that I've created, but we're just going to play it dry for a second. Okay, so nothing to write home about. Good, solid recording. It's nice and clean. Nothing's clipping or, or jacked up or anything like that. So now I'm going to show you what I did. I felt like the... Uh, the snare was coming over, what was it, the, the left mic a bit much. Ah, this is super subtle stuff, not what we're here for, but I just kind of lifted a little mid-range to help balance these out. Uh, but then the processing I went with, I'll show you, started out with VMR, a little uh, FG-401. This has been one of my favorite compressors, using it on everything, uh, and then followed that up with a little shine from the SSL, hit it with a Pro-Q, Really, this video is not about this, taking out some of the harsh. I hate 3 to 5K bothers me, so I'm real sensitive to that. Uh, just listened to some stuff up there, pulled it out, gave it a little warmth, uh, and then just uh, pulled out some of the uh, snare was coming through quite a bit in the overhead, so I wanted to use some of the direct mic. But anyways, not what this video is about. You can see the pro cue there. Make sense of it if you want. But then Decapitator, my baby. I love this plugin. Uh, let's hear it without Decapitator first because I use this to change the sound pretty drastically uh, to warm it up and, and dole it out. And with Decapitator. All right, and so you can hear that. And actually, I'll play a little bit of the track. The cruel sounds good both ways i don't know i just wanted to to grime something up and i threw decapitator on there it sounded good without it um but uh now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn that off i'm gonna turn on this omni channel here uh, before going live with this video or recording it i hit the the preamp and the compressor just click click and pfft, sounded nasty so let's see if you guys dig it and actually let's go we don't mix in solo too much but uh Let's see what it sounds like so you guys can get some some uh, an idea of this. All right, just a quick, I, you guys know better. You guys are, you've either followed me or seen a ton of tutorials. Louder is better, right? Okay, 
So we're going to pull off the, the gain there, back off the output a little bit so we're not fooled. And then we'll kind of match it as we go so that we can turn it on, turn it off. And then I'm going to compare it to my original chain and uh, we'll see if this one beats it out. So there's the odd harmonics. We got even harmonics. A little dirtier. Oh, I like that odd better. Heavy's not bad either, huh? Hey man, I'm down for some low end in the overheads. We'll see how that goes. A little cleaner cool so the labeling makes sense and i want to hit this compressor pretty good here let's see uh vca and fat let's mess around with these <sighs> nasty day which is what I wanted in this track I wanted to hit it with a little something let's check this EQ see if we can get that saturated compressed sound but then also a little bit of shine something I didn't have with the decapitator over here I could have had it but I chose not to not to slam decapitator love that thing Love it. All right, so now uh, I've got so I'm pretty happy with that. I think it sounds great. Um, I need to check and see what the gain staging is set to. If it's like a minus eighteen or whatever, I believe these tracks that I imported. I start everything out at minus twenty, but you can see I did not stay with that. Uh, okay, so let's turn that off. Turn the original chain on, and then we'll switch back and forth here so here's uh before anything okay so that was dry now let's check it with my original chain We didn't play with the limiter. Let's check this out. That's nasty. I really dig it. Two different sounds, different different processors. Uh, no big deal there. Just a, a quick comparison, guys. Just having some fun with it. Uh, now, I did want to show off a little bit here. Um, maybe you guys didn't know. If you go to, uh, and actually, I, I link you to all of this stuff, uh, the free VIP mix bundle. I'll leave a description below. Uh, DavidGlenRecording.com. You get, Jesus, like nine sets of free multi-tracks now. Um, free... Uh, reverb impulse responses a whole bunch of stuff tutorials whatever um, but uh, in that batch I talk about the uh, Burkasti M7 samples that are over on samplicity.com and uh, link you to it explains all how to install it if you've never used an IR before but uh, I've got the close the Burkasti Studio B close mic uh, Studio B far and then the large wooden room just a triple threat combination that I've used for years now and I'm pulling it in with Avid's TL Space, but whatever uh, convolution reverb you have, you can pull these in. And uh, let's take a listen because I'm sending the overheads and the shells of the kit into those verbs uh, to give it a little vibe, to give it some room. I didn't use too much of either of them, uh, but a little bit goes a long way with these. So let's uh, let's see how that impacts the uh, the room mic sounds. Let's check it out first to the close mic. Sounds great. 
We'll turn that off. Let's check the far mic out. Nice. And then last but not least, this large wooden room. I love this thing. Not so appropriate for this tune, but... Very cool. And then the three together. Yeah, right on. So, I tell you what, I'm pretty pumped about it. I don't know, what should we do? Should we try it on something else? Let's try it on, uh, yeah, I tell you what, we'll see how it is in the mix and then I'm gonna. It's a cruel, cruel summer. put a little bit more of that top end back in. Okay, cool. So we looked at it. We liked it. We kept it on the overheads. Let's uh let's give a look. What do you guys want to see? Acoustic, vocal, piano, all of the above, right? Let's go to this vocal here. And I tell you what, let me Okay, so with this vocal if you guys are still with me, uh, it's extremely dynamic. I I would guarantee no compression going in. And so um with that, we have a couple things we can do. We could go through in Pro Tools or whatever DAW you're in. You're going to have a similar uh, function. We can clip gain, kind of go phrase by phrase and evaluate, you know, the peaks and, you know, level match and that kind of thing with that. Um, what I chose to do first was actually a uh, little bit of limiting. Stole from the old CLA forums. You hear about CLA doing a little L1 to the vocal. Uh, I did that first to kind of knock off a few dB. A uh, little bit of EQ, corrective EQ, just what I heard, what I wanted it to sound like. Uh, as a kind of a starting place and then I just hit it with an 1176. I mean, how much did I hit this guy here? This heat has got I mean five probably seven DB at some of the peaks, but uh, uh, You can see the attack and release there. But anyways Then what I did is I smashed it with parallel compression. I used the uh, the monster from slate for that and uh, this is what like the all buttons in uh, a little bit out of it with some of the plugins that come out. But I saw this, I was like, sure, let's go for it. Uh, hit it real hard with this. I want to say this was 10 dB or more, maybe 20 dB. This heat has got running out of so just crushing it with that, and then even more. Followed it up, little De Pensado love the L1 on the back end of a compressor. This heat has got so I'm smashing this thing right. So my thought was instead of going through and all tedious, let me go line by line. Let me just smash it. And then I'll go back if I need to and uh, dial it in with some uh, some clip gain. And I did do that, and then I consolidated it. Uh, I think you can see, no, you probably can't. If I show the clip gain line, you can see a couple things there. But I, I did a lot more. You can see that all in the Mix Academy if you want to check that out. But we're here to check out the waves. Um, on the back end, the reason why I gave you that long spiel there was because I chose to use even more compression on the back end here uh, to just kind of level it out and put it on top of the mix. And I'm thinking maybe we leave all that surgical stuff, but maybe we throw the Sheps on on the back end here. And let's see how this thing does. If we can uh, find it here. Actually, i tell you what. A little Pro Tools shortcut. Hold Command, and then go Select It. I can tell I'm going to be using I tend to, when I pick up plugins, I tend to use them and abuse them for the first little bit. So we're going to throw that in our favorites list up here. And let's check it out, maybe at the, uh, let's just go to the first verse. We'll keep it simple. And let's see what we get. Hats on the streets and the pavements are burning. I sit around. Tell you what, we probably could use a little saturation. Hats on the streets and the pavements are burning. I sit around. Those odd harmonics sound great. Hats on the streets. Even just 60, 70 percent of it was sounding really good. Let's bypass. Summer streets and the pavements are burning. I sit around. Oof. Trying to smile, but the air is so heavy and dry. 
I lose it when I bypass it, which is what I was doing with the uh, the slate. That's been my favorite compressor, the 401 there. Uh, but uh, hey, man, shiny new GUI. I love this. It's easy to look at. You can move the modules around. I think I'm digging it. I'm going to spend a little more time with it. I don't want this video to be like a 20-minute video if it's not already. But uh, hey, if you guys are digging this, let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. David Glenn, davidglennrecording.com is the current blog. We're going to be shifting things over to themixacademy.com, which is the membership site. One dollar trial. We've got uh, actually, I'm still running a little sale. If you guys want to get in on an annual plan or a, a lifetime access, actually, we left that up for a little bit. But uh, multi tracks, tutorials, an ungodly amount of tutorials. And uh, would love to see you in there. Facebook Lives, QA, webinars, all kinds of stuff coming your way. David Glenn Recording, The Mix Academy, and uh, the Pro Audio Files. Just shout out to my, uh, my home, sweet home. Got a new channel, but uh, we're still over there, and we'll see some stuff coming your way over there as well. So I'm blabbing. You guys rock. I'm going to shut up, get on my way, mix a little bit, and we'll see you in the next one.